Today, we're diving into the rare but deadly condition known as necrotizing fasciitis, often called flesh-eating disease. Necrotizing fasciitis is a serious infection where necrotizing means tissue death and fasciitis means inflammation of the fascia, a tissue layer under the skin that covers muscles, fat, and nerves. Necrotizing fasciitis is a bacterial infection caused by group A streptococcus. Normally harmless, these bacteria can enter the body through minor cuts, burns, or insect bites, infecting the fascia layer. Once inside, the infection spreads quickly, destroying muscles, nerves, and tissue. Hence the name flesh-eating disease. Early symptoms include a red or purple rash, severe pain, and fever. As the disease progresses, blisters and black discoloration appear as tissues die. If the bacteria enter the bloodstream, they can cause sepsis or toxic shock syndrome, both life-threatening conditions with rapid blood pressure drops and risk of multi-organ failure. People with diabetes, kidney disease, liver disease, and cancer are at higher risk due to weakened immunity, but anyone can get necrotizing fasciitis, regardless of age or health status. It can occur in healthy individuals as well as those with underlying health conditions. Doctors diagnose necrotizing fasciitis through clinical features, blood tests, tissue samples, and imaging like CT or MRI scans. Immediate treatment is crucial and includes intravenous antibiotics, surgery to remove infected tissue, supportive care to maintain blood pressure. Treatment involves surgical removal of the dead tissue, which can sometimes require amputation of a limb. Antibiotics alone are not effective because they cannot reach the infected area due to poor blood supply. Surgery is essential to remove the necrotic tissue and stop the infection from spreading. If you notice a red, swollen, and very painful area on your body that is progressing rapidly, go to the emergency room immediately. For healthcare practitioners, early and decisive action is crucial. Thanks for watching.